Now we will discuss the development of atria. First, let's repeat the, all the five parts of the primitive heart tube, starting from the venous end, the sinus venosus, the atria, the ventricles, bulbus cordis, and trunchus arteriosus. The part from where the aorta arises is the aortic sac. So, first of all, we will discuss the development of atria. Before the atrial development begins, basically, there is development of the atrioventricular endocardial cushion. Now, what is atrioventricular and endocardial cushion? Between the atria and the ventricles, from ventral side and dorsal side. Basically, there are endocardial cushions. Development of endocardial cushions. Basically, these are the endocardium, the underlying mesenchyme and the neural crest cells. From both these sides, if this is the heart tube, from the ventral and the dorsal side, they will fuse like this, the endocardial cushions. One space will be here, the other space will be here and from the center it will be fused. When this fusion occurs from the dorsal and ventral side, the atria and ventricles will be divided into two halves, the right and the left like this. The right one and the left one. This is the atrioventricular cushions which are fused and these are the two spaces, the right and the left one. So first of all, the space that is present between the atria and ventricles will be partially closed with the help of endocardial cushions. These are basically right from the neural crest cells and the mesenchyme. You know one from the ventral and one from the dorsal side, they will fuse, dividing it into right and left canals. One is right atrioventricular canal, the other is left atrioventricular canal. Now, this is the endocardial cushions which are formed dividing the atrium ventricles. Now, how the atrium, you know the primitive atrium is a common tube. It will be divided into right and left parts. How it will be divided? From the roof, from the atrial roof, from this part, there will be growth of the tissue, the mesenchyme, the growth of the endocardium towards this endocardium cushions. Fine. This growth is known as septum prime. When it will Come near the endocardial cushions, a space will be left between this cushion, between this cushion and between this septum primum. This is known as foramen primum. If you see here, this is the endocardial cushion, this is the septum primum. From the atrial roof, the growth of the tissue basically produces the septum primum and the foramen that is present is foramen primum. Now what happens? This specific path will also fuse with the endocardial cushion and it will be completed partition, complete partition will be present here. Now certain perforations will develop in the proximal part of the septum primum. This specific foramen which is produced is foramen scandal. Foramen scandal. Now, on the right side of the septum primum, another septum will come, there will be growth of another septum. This is known as septum scandal. This is known as septum scandal. Now, the foramen which is present between the left and the right part is foramen away. See here, this is septum primum fused with the endocardial tissue. A foramen produced here is foramen scandum and a new septum formed on the right side of the septum primum is septum scandum and now the foramen which is formed is foramen ovate. Now during the embryonic period the blood from the right side basically moves towards the left side because there is high pressure on the right side. All the veins which are entering here in the sinus venosus will now enter in the right atrium the blood will then flow to the left atrium, then to the left ventricle and then to all parts of the body. So now the atria has been divided into right and the left atrium.